good morning students in this session we are going to start with our third chapter of our syllabus that is time series second chapter we will discuss later on meanwhile we will see what is this time series in these days economists and business people the important task of them is to make the estimates of future that is the people to forecast about the future time series analysis helps to make the forecast it is it plays an important role in farmers statistics as well as economics so if you want to make the time series analysis first and foremost thing is you have to collect the information regarding the past so what you are going to do is you are going to observe then you are going to collect and you are going to record the information or you are going to record the data as and when it occurs that is as in accordance with time so it is called as time series data now we will see what is the meaning of this time series time series is nothing but arrangement of Okay. 
histogram is graphical representation of time series. Whatever data are there in time series, if you are going to present it through graph, then it is called as histogram. Now we will see what are the essentials of time series. What are the essential requirements that must be maintained while recording the time series data. as well as 
data with one period is data of one period is another period. Then we can evaluate the progress of economic activities. What is the progress in any field of economic activity that we can study with the help of this time series. So these are the uses of time series. Now we will move on to the next topic that is Umbrellas are 
Then the second factor under seasonal variation is customs and tradition. Customs, traditions, and habits of people. Customs, traditions, and habits. This is also one of the factor of seasonal variation. If you want to give an example here, see in the festival season, you are going to buy new clothes. You are going to purchase the sweets. Or you are going to purchase the crackers in times of the Pavali and So it is, we can make the prediction that in festival season, the sales of these products will be more. Likewise, habits of people like when college reopens, in the beginning of the reopening of the colleges or schools, the purchase of the books will be more. So these are the examples of seasonal variation that we can predict what is going to happen in which time or in which period. That is called as seasonal variation. Then the next two components we will discuss in the upcoming sessions.